Have you ever wondered about the dazzling dance of lights in the Arctic night sky? This enchanting spectacle known as the Northern Lights is a breathtaking display of nature's grandeur that has fascinated observers for centuries. It's a play of colors, shifting and swirling in the night, painting the sky with an ethereal glow. Also known as Aurora Borealis, these lights are a unique spectacle visible in the Arctic regions of our world, including the captivating landscapes of Iceland. Imagine standing under the starlit sky as the darkness is gently swept away by a mesmerizing aurora, casting an otherworldly glow across the snowy expanse. The air around you hums with the magic of this celestial phenomenon, as the sky above turns into a canvas of shimmering colors, dancing and darting across the horizon. This is the enigma of the Northern Lights, a mysterious and awe-inspiring spectacle that leaves us gazing skyward in wonder. But what exactly is this celestial ballet of light? The Northern Lights are not just a display of magical colors, they are a spectacular display of science in action. Now, let's dive into the scientific explanation behind this celestial phenomenon. Imagine the sun as a colossal dynamo that's continuously spewing out charged particles. This solar wind as it is known is a stream of electrons and protons that hurtle through space at mind-boggling speeds. Now picture our Earth, shielded by a magnetic field like a giant cosmic umbrella. This magnetic field extends from the Earth's interior out into space where it meets the solar wind. As these charged particles from the Sun encounter Earth's magnetic field, they are funneled towards the poles, both north and south. So, what happens when these high-energy particles reach our planet's poles? This is where the real magic, or rather science, happens. The charged particles collide with the gases in our atmosphere, and this collision results in the release of energy in the form of light. This light, when viewed from the ground, appears as the beautiful dancing curtains of color we know as the Northern Lights, or Aurora Borealis. The color of the lights can vary, and this is determined by the type of gas particle that the solar wind particles collide with. Oxygen gives off a green or red light, while nitrogen produces blue or purple light. And why are these lights more visible near the poles? Well that's because the Earth's magnetic field is strongest at the poles, making it easier for the solar wind particles to enter the atmosphere there. Now I know what you might be thinking, it sounds like a lot of science right, but when you gaze up at the night sky in awe, watching the northern lights dance and shimmer, it's easy to forget the complex physics that's at play, it's easy to believe you're witnessing pure magic, so, it's not magic but a fascinating cosmic interaction that creates this spectacle. The Northern Lights, a beautiful blend of science and awe, a testament to the wonders our universe holds. The Northern Lights are a riot of colors, but have you ever wondered why? Well, the answer lies in the science of light, energy, and the Earth's atmosphere. Let's take a brief journey into the heart of this phenomenon. Imagine, if you will, particles from the sun, charged with energy, hurtling towards our planet. As they reach Earth's magnetic field, they spiral downwards, colliding with the gas particles in our atmosphere. This collision then triggers a release of light, and voila, you have the Northern Lights. But here's where it gets interesting. The color of the light depends on two main factors, the type of gas particle involved and the altitude at which the collision occurs. First, let's talk about the gas particles. Our atmosphere is primarily made up of two gases, oxygen and nitrogen. When the charged particles from the sun collide with oxygen, they produce either a green or red light. Green is the most common color we associate with the northern lights and that's because these collisions often happen with oxygen at lower altitudes, but if the collision happens at higher altitudes, we get a rare red aurora. Now what about that mystical blue or purplish hue we sometimes see? That's where nitrogen comes into play. Collisions with nitrogen gas particles can result in blue or purple light. These colors are less common because they occur at extremely high or low altitudes where there's less nitrogen. Also the intensity of the colors can vary. Factors like solar activity, the clarity of the atmosphere and even the viewer's eyesight can influence how vivid the colors appear. In essence, the northern lights are a cosmic dance of energy and light, painting the night sky with a palette that changes with every performance. Each color represents a different gas, a different altitude, a different interaction. So, each color of the northern lights tells a unique story of its own, Iceland, with its dark and clear nights, is a premier destination for viewing the Northern Lights. Now, you might be wondering, when is the best time to chase these celestial dancers in Iceland? Well, the Northern Lights season typically runs from late September to late March. 
However, the best time to catch a glimpse of this magical display is during the heart of winter, from December to February, when the nights are longest. As for the best places, Iceland is dotted with numerous viewing spots. The Reykjanes Peninsula, with its vast lava fields and geothermal activity, offers a dramatic landscape to complement the celestial show. Thingvellir National Park, a UNESCO World Heritage Site, is another popular choice, where the northern lights often dance above the park's tranquil lakes and rugged cliffs. But remember, the northern lights are a natural phenomenon, and their visibility is influenced by several factors. Weather conditions play a crucial role. Clear dark skies with little to no cloud cover are ideal. The colder the night, the clearer the sky and the better your chances of witnessing this ethereal spectacle. Solar activity is another significant influencer. The more active the sun, the more intense the northern lights. So keep a close eye on the solar forecasts. There are numerous online platforms and mobile applications that provide real-time updates on solar activity and aurora forecasts. And don't forget to adjust your expectations. The northern lights are not always as vibrant and dramatic as seen in photographs. Camera sensors can pick up more light than the human eye, making the colors appear more intense in photos. But don't let this deter you. Even a faint display of the northern lights can leave you spellbound. Chasing the northern lights in Iceland is not just about the destination. It's about the journey. It's about immersing yourself in the silent, raw beauty of Iceland's landscapes, under the star-studded sky, waiting for the lights to make their appearance. So, with a little luck and planning you might just witness this spectacular light show. The northern lights are more than just a beautiful spectacle. They are a celestial dance of particles and magnetic fields, a grand display of nature's scientific artistry. Born from the interaction between solar winds and Earth's magnetic field, these ethereal lights paint the night sky with an array of colors. Each color tells a story of its own, a tale of different gases in our atmosphere. The common green hue is due to oxygen, while nitrogen lends shades of blue and red. The ultimate stage for this spectacle is the pristine dark skies of Iceland. There, away from the city lights, the northern lights reveal their full glory. The key to experiencing them is patience, clear weather, and of course a dash of luck. So, the next time you witness the northern lights, you'll not only be mesmerized by their beauty but also appreciate the fascinating science behind them.